Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. Today we're trying another legendary barbecue spot in Austin. This is called Black's Barbecue. Well, you know how it is. Let's have some fun. I've enjoyed the barbecue so far here. I've enjoyed Texas so far. And this, I'm sure, will be no different. All right, so we actually lucked out. So not only are we here at Black's, but we have the fourth generation pit master, Mr. Barrett here. So right. instead of me telling you about Black's, I figured just hear it from the source. So tell us a little bit about Black's and what makes it so special. Yeah, Black's Barbecue, we're the oldest barbecue joint in Texas, still owned by the same family. And so me, my brothers, and my dad, were still keeping the tradition alive that my great grandfather started serving quality Central Texas barbecue. Since 1932. That's right, yeah. So I mean like, <laughs> You know my business better than me. <laughs> you know when it's literally been about a hundred years of barbecue that it's gonna be damn good. Yeah. I can smell it from here, smoke. It's just, ah, oh, it's, it's oak, it's Texas, salt, pepper, basic, and just done right. So let's go eat some food. Thanks for telling us about the place. Yeah. I can't wait to try it. It looks delicious and uh, I'm about to find out. Yeah, let's do it. Such a nice spread of barbecue. I can't wait. I got some fatty brisket, we got some lean brisket, we got beef ribs, pulled pork, turkey, chicken, pork ribs, sausage, both jalapeno and regular. We got beans, macaroni and cheese, Mexican corn, pickles, onions, coleslaw. It looks amazing. So I'm so excited. I hear I'm gonna start with a two pound beef rib, right? Pounds. They weighed it and everything when they were cutting it, it looks so juicy. These are actually two it's pounds. As big as my head. I am so excited. That lovely looking short rib, you can just see it there. I love it. Well, cheers. Oh. It's meat butter. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, this is all wrong. Wait, wait. Are you freaking all off the bone like this? My god. Oh my god. I just want to savor this. It's got such a nice fat cap. You can see that beautiful smoke green. Oh boy. Oh, so perfect. Smoky. Oh. oh, this is it. This is Texas. So Joe is actually quite the smoker himself. I didn't even know that. He actually impressed me also. I say I love barbecue and I really do. I don't know, I eat it all the time, but I cook it at home. I smoke meats. This is my thing. And just holy jumping. This is epic. So good. I have a big mouth, but this is a full bite. That's smoke. And the smoke is not too heavy. It really preserves that beef flavor smell. Oh. And the fat is perfectly rendered, it's so succulent. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh my god. This is just massive. I can't believe how big the beef is. It's huge. Oh. It's so rich. Just look at that beautiful, juicy. Oh my god. Damn it. This is so good. It's just like it's going to fall off the bone. Boy. Woo! Try some onions. Look at the size of that bone. It's how some good short rib win. I really, really like onion as a palate cleanser when it comes to barbecue. Onions and pickles. A very traditional palate cleanser. I'm never going to touch those. There's the acidity and the bitterness. Really cuts the fat. You can have them all. Oh, really? Okay. All right, we switch. Awesome.
when you're eating some nice, delicious, succulent, juicy beef ribs like that, a palate cleanser can be needed. That is a savory rib. Whoa. It's coming from some good cows. Yeah. That'd be a good taste. Yeah. Wow. So they say that Kosa was a little sweeter than you know? It's actually good. Yeah. I will try it. Dude, what a beginning to, a, to this plate, that beef rim. Wow. Alright, so the other barbecue video we had, we had so much pork ribs. Let's see how their pork rib compares to the all you can eat one it already feels really good. I really like this coleslaw. It's very creamy, but it still has that acidity it's carrying, that onion in it. Again, just cuts that savoriness of that beef. Is it good? Pork rib. Really nice smoke taste, smoke on it. It's still very textured, so it's not like pudding. Definitely nice and tender. I'm gonna go for that fatty brisket, also my favorite, which you can just tell. Oh my gosh, just look at that. It looks like it's just gonna fall apart. Boy oh boy. Can I have a piece of that? You can have the rest of the fatty biscuit. Yeah. It's like butter. I know I know this is Joel's favorite and I prefer the bean biscuit, so I just want to try this fatty biscuit. Mm. Oh that's good. Oh boy. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Meat butter. It's peppery. It's salty. It's amazing. It has a nice smoke on it. It is actually so good. I'd say it's like a little bit of a lighter smoke, but damn. I'm gonna try the lean one. Oh. I don't know why. I like the lean one. It's so soft, it's so supple. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> This is what I want in my life. Every day. Every day. Oh. So savory. Oh man. Coming from some good beef. Elegant beef. Got myself some sweet tea. Oh, the sweet tea is really good. I've already had like three cups. I'm gonna try, I think, some of the pulled pork. I'm just gonna use my hands. It's really finely shredded. Oh, oh that's really interesting. I think they gave it some sauce too, right? You want to try some sauce with the whole one? It doesn't need it, but I'll try it. You try that. I want to try one of, uh, this is actually 
usually their turkey breast. So when they were actually cutting the turkey breast, usually I would think it's dry, but so much juices came out of this turkey breast, I can't do it. I'll jump right here. Oh, good. So I tell you what, this pulled pork, I can officially say it's the best Texas style pulled pork I've had. Like if, you're, yeah, if you're talking just pork, salt, and pepper, they really did it right. Usually my caveat with pulled pork is it doesn't have enough smoke, but this is enough smoke. This is just the right amount of salt, the right amount of pepper. It's very good. Yeah, the sauce. I'll try the sauce. Actually, not bad. So the sauce is kind of like a mild, tangy, almost vinegar-ish based sauce. It's made. It's very well meant. I can tell the accent in me and not to cover or mask the flavor. It's not like a cheap joint where they're trying to get the flavor from the barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce is really just to accent it. That's exactly it. Nice little bit of spice. Distilled vinegar, like vinegar taste. That's hella good. I want to try sausage. I've just been sitting right here and the sausage is in my face. I really want to try it. It looks so good. Traditionally, animal. Tasty? It is like so unique. I never had this flavor in another sausage. So we each have a jalapeno sausage and a normal sausage. Um, it's really cool. Is they're using a lot of beef, a lot of the trimmings and cuttings from the briskets in the sausages. So you can set a beef rib up for a ride. I'm ready. I'm trying to have a pickle sausage. I bet it's great. I like the sausages. Every time we go to barbecue, I always like the sausages. Uh, so good. All right. It's just so rich and juicy. It's crazy. Man, it's damn good. Blaine, you have to try this. This is this is like the ultimate savory rib. Take a bite. Take a bite on that. Just all right. Just bite. It's not like meat butter. Yep. Yeah. That's crazy. It's biting a piece of butter that tastes like meat. Meat butter. Very, very good. Hell right. It's meat butter. It's meat butter. It is meat butter. Hell right. Dude, it's meat butter. Try some of turkey breast. It's a soft, juicy turkey breast. Oh. Again, it had that really nice smoke to it. Yeah, I love the amount of smoke they're able to encapsulate on this turkey. Both with the sauce and without the sauce. It's excellent. If you put a little bit of the sauce on it, it adds a little more sweetness. Right. The turkey by itself, very arrow flavor. More of this fatty brisket. Ooh. Look at that. Look how glistened that is. Look at the bounce. This is me. This is my thing. Soft. 
More meat butter. Look at that glisten. The way it's setting in the bottom of that pan. Uh, I'm broken. The beef is broken. I can't talk. Try some of these beans. That's very interesting. I don't like beans, but I'll try them. They're really nice. Huh? So I describe it like a milder bean. I get like almost like a pinto bean taste, a tomatoey base. Not overly strong, like a, not like an overly strong like pepper or any distinct flavor, but it's very addictive. I really like it. Like, I generally like really, really, really strong, distinct flavors. This is like, it's really well balanced. I'm getting that a little bit of paprika, maybe a little bit of like, uh, maybe cumin or garlic, like whatever it is, I approve. Like I said, definitely a meatier pork rib. We really get that smoke, which I like. You can tell I like more of the meat. He likes the fatty ones. I'll try the sausage. You like the sausage, yeah? Mm. So here's the original sausage. Raina says she really likes it, so maybe I'll leave some for her to start. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look how juicy that is. And it has a darker red color to it. It makes sense that it's a beef sausage. Yeah, I like the original sausage with a lot of So it's super juicy. Again, I'd say the Texas flavor is that salt, that large green pepper. And you can probably see it. That black specks, large green pepper. It has a really nice thick casing, so it has a really good crunch. But it just it makes sense that it's made with beef. You get those really dark, those deeper meat tones. And it was like warm. Good call. That's really good. Oh yeah. Try this lean brisket. I haven't even tried it yet, but it's tender. How oh, easy that fell apart. <laughs> what? We even get that meat butter with the lean brisket. Of course, it has a little more texture. It's a leaner part. But I'm surprised just still the level of richness and meat butter esque flavor you got. I ordered this Mexican corn. I've never had this style of corn. It looks like mayonnaise and a lot of pepper. Where's that been all my life? That's exceptional. I've never had anything like this. How have I never had this? Beer? I've had so I've had so much awesome meat. I gotta share it with you guys. I gotta share the love, man. We it's have uh, Joel's favorite coming up next year. Oh, yeah. oh, His cobbler cobblers. Not all cobblers are cobbler. You have to realize that. <laughs> so here we got a peach cobbler and a pecan cobbler, which looks delicious. Oh, pecan cobbler. The one you keep making fun of me that I don't like. What are you talking about? I've never even taught, I've never heard of a pecan cobbler before today. Well, you made fun that I didn't like pecan stuff. You don't like pecan pie. She doesn't like, she doesn't like pie. Of course I'm going to say something. Come on, pie everybody. And like, it's not even like she's like a specific type of pie. It was all pies. So like, you just gotta be like, what are you waiting for? I'm waiting for you. For what? To eat dessert with me. I'm gonna get my own. I'm gonna take one of the little bit of meat and the rest of the meat. Do you think I'm gonna share? <laughs> Serena thought.
thought I was joking when I say I'm not sharing. I'm just kidding. So I actually ordered some ice cream. We got a candy brisket ice cream coming, which is delicious. I've had some candy bacon. I've even had a wild boar bourbon ice cream before. So I'm kind of familiar with this style of ice cream. Very much having a very savory, rich aspect to it, along with the sweetness, along with that creamy. So I really look forward to trying that out. And then we also got the normal vanilla. I actually have never had brisket, I mean candy bacon. Well, you're about to. <laughs> I wrote it specifically for you. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go with the peach cobbler first. I love how there's, it's a, it's a thinner crumble. It's a very thick inner pudding, or like cobbler fruit piece. And sugar and cinnamon on top. This is the candy brisket. Wow, okay, I'll just take it. Brisket, some brown sugar, candy in the oven. This is awesome, thank you. Looks delicious. Thank you. The pink and cobbler is like really sticky. It's like a flavor. This is like my kind of cobbler. So, you know, this is not what I would call a cobbler cobbler. The funny thing is, I said that in a video before, and Rena thought I was joking. Well, I wasn't joking. It wasn't very common. So cobbler and cobbler is very cakey, very yeah. cake forward, not fruit forward. This, very much the focal point is the fruit, along with the outer shell, the cake. This really, really nice. Cinnamon, sugar. You gotta try it. It's, it's great. That's my kind of cobbler. I think this is the kind of cobbler I would want to try. try this pecan cobbler. Ooh, yeah. The piece oh looks God. like candy. This looks like a pecan pie. This is a lot better than the cobbler cobbler. My descriptive words are actually accurate. I want you to put in some of the ice cream with the cobbler. That's phenomenal. I know you can take big bites of ice cream, so I'm not going to be worried. Alright. These two together are so good. Is this good? Is this good? Joel, you just don't have to say anything. Don't give me that. I got so excited. So I tell you what. There's certain things that I'm a purist about. And when it comes to pies or cobblers, I prefer to taste it, the fruit by itself, instead of the creamy ice cream by itself. However, that being said, that was like a peachsicle. You know, like a creamsicle? That was like a peachsicle. So I will say, it was good. I prefer them separate. But if you like creamsicles, that was a peachsicle. It was good. I like it. <laughs> yeah, at least he liked it. He's just not excited about it as much as I am. I just have to give Raina a hard time, so I purposely portrayed this unimpressed. Candied brisket ice cream. Vanilla base, brisket, candied with brown sugar, fatty burnt ends, basically. Wait, so there's actually meat in that? Yeah, there's brisket. That's pieces of candy beef. Wait, really? Yeah. Wanna try it with me? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, that's, that's the first meat and ice cream? Yeah, it's like burnt ends. Cheers. Damn! Woo! Hell right. And there's like nuts in it. Damn. Oh, come on, don't tell me you don't like that. It's so weird. That's like the best thing I've ever had. It tastes like burnt ice cream. No, it doesn't. Here, enjoy. Oh, you. It tastes like, it tastes like candied. It's kind of like a pecan pie, that candied aspect. Because there is even nuts in it. But you get like a little bit of a extra smoky savory. I will go back to enjoying my cheese circle. Thank <laughs> you.
I damn well. All right. All right, brother. All right. Yeah, so let's just get this corn cobbler. It's a hybrid between a pecan pie and like a cake. Which makes sense because that's exactly what it is. Finally, a dessert Reina likes. She doesn't like any uh, I'm just kidding. She likes almost nothing. I can't believe you don't like this though. This is where I just don't understand. You can see like the meat in it. But meat and ice cream sounds so weird, but I promise you it's not. It's more like having like bacon. Because it's like the outside, the real fatty piece of ever bacon and ice cream, which again sounds kind of weird to some people. But that's really good. I like it. I would recommend it. Because it still gives that barbecue flavor in like the lightest, nicest, sweetest way. Yeah. It's good. Ice cream? Excellent. I seriously, seriously enjoyed that. So Black's Barbecue, whether you're in Lockhart, whether you're in Austin, exceptional. Miranda, what was your favorite part? I mean, beef roots. Those beef roots are just amazing. A great starter and so juicy. Yeah, the bigger picture. The beef ribs, I would say, were probably the most tender, succulent, and fatty, but like in a good way, beef ribs. Like just absolute beef butter, melts in your mouth, just falls apart. Really like the beef ribs. I, I think the fatty brisket was my favorite. It usually it is. I love brisket. Brisket just has a little bit deeper, heavier beef flavor. It usually does. The fatty part is just so tender, supple, it falls apart. Just that salt, pepper, that smoke, perfect. And the other thing I will mention is that pulled pork. Again, probably the best Texas style pulled pork I've had. Really had a nice smoke on it, really nice salt, nice pepper, really, really good. The sausage was really good as well. Again, you taste it's a beef sausage. I love the desserts. That ice cream, that candy brisket ice cream. I love the lights. It was good. I love the beef sour. Well, that everybody, until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, stay hungry. Hope you enjoyed this barbecue video. I sure did. Barbecue is my absolute favorite. Of course. Until next time. Bye. Happy. Bye.